a tracking device on a book, and then the squirrel takes the book, the tracker will tell us where in the treehouse it went. Bingo! Time to re-engineer this glue tracker into a book tracker. Check it out. This tracking device looks just like a bookmark. We'll put it in a book, and then when the squirrel takes it, we'll be able to track it. Except there's still one problem. We're all out of books to put the tracker in. Tiny even gave up her signed copy of Little Mouse on the Prairie. Correction! We're almost out of books. There's one last book I always keep with me. The first book we ever bought together. How to be best pals. Aww, group hug! <sighs> Time to solve this mystery. Let's hope this works. Here comes the squirrel. She's moving toward the book. Oh, it's working. She's going to take the book. The book. Oh! Oh, tight. Aw, Peanuts, where'd she go? Rainbow? On it. I can see where she's going on my map. She's headed toward the garage. The chase is on. device in one of them. It led us here. Oh, dear. I am truly sorry. We just needed these books for my classroom. My students just love to read. No nibbling, Jeremy. Oh, book-loving squirrels. We had no idea you needed books so badly. Actually, we had no idea the squirrel school was even here. But if you need a book from now on, you're always welcome to borrow one. Yeah, the Fix-It Force lab can be like your school library. Now helping at number 127. Oh, hey, that's me. I'm ready to take my tool belt test. All righty, Mr. Bonbon. Tool belt tests are taken very seriously here at the Department of Monkey Business. All you have to do is solve a problem selected by the spinny wheel. What will the problem be? Only the spinny wheel knows. Ooh. You've landed on the Stucky Ducky. Now, just use your tools to get this ducky unstucky, and you pass the test. This problem's no match for my ducky pluckers. <laughs> my ducky plucker didn't work, so maybe it's time for my ducky chucker? No, my ducky sucker? Whoa! It seems this Stucky Ducky is giving Chico's tool belt quite the test. How's the rest of the Fix-It Force doing? Let's find out now. So, your problem is that your car's not fast enough. No, oh, no, 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 no. My car's too fast. Too fast? It, it's so fast, I, I can barely steer with one hand while holding my umbrella in the other. Then why don't you just put the umbrella down? Well, because what if it rains? I just need my car slowed down, but not too slow. I'm very busy, you see, with, with places to be. Hmm. Okay, Mayor Murphy, even though it's just me here today, Rainbow told me to promise you I can lift your sign by myself. Oh, that's good, because this is the sign for the new magnifying glass store atop this tower. Hey, clock! Uh, it needs to go to the tippy top of the tower? Indeed it does. The Dunderheads have set up this pulley system. Okay. 
So if we put something heavy on that platform up there, it will lift up this platform with the sign. Brilliant. So, what do we use? I have no idea. So you see, Miss Tiny, my tumbleweed blower blew right out of my claws. And when I finally found it, this little switch here was all jammed up. Yeah, strawberry jam, I think. All right, duck. I've pulled and pried and plungered and poked. And you are still stuck. I guess it's time for... The Mega Tool! I'm Neil Ostrich reporting live from way out west of Blunderberg, where the sun is hot, but Herb's cocoa is not. Can the Fix-It Force help Herb the Hermit Crab heat it up? Here they are now! How are you? What you want? Mr. Herb, it's the Fix-It Force. We are here to solve your not-so-hot cocoa problem. Of course. Sorry I snapped at you. Without a cup of hot cocoa in the morning, I, I just ain't myself. No problem, Herb. I'm the same way before my first banana. Now, where's this cold cocoa? Right here. Normally, I would heat it over my campfire, but now there's no fires allowed. On account of them tumbling tumbleweeds. Ah, this problem's no problem. See, we're in the desert where it's hot. If we leave your cocoa out in the sun, I'm sure it'll heat right up. This thermometer will tell us when the cocoa is hot and ready to sip. Cocoa is getting warmer, but Chico, I don't think the sun is going to get the cocoa hot enough. Oh, I'm getting crabby. When I get this crabby, I start howling like this. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, you got anything with more power in that there belt of yours to heat this mug up? You know something? I think I do. Coco, you've been cold for a while now. That's about to change. Because this monkey makes waves. Microwaves. Yeah! I call it the micro-microwave. Small enough to fit into my belt, powerful enough to heat up the coldest cup of cocoa. Now, where can I plug it in? Plug it in? There ain't no plugs out here for miles. Wah, wah. Fix it, Force. Get out your umbrellas. It's time for a brainstorm. Ideas. Talk to me, people. When I want to make my food hot, I add hot sauce. Well, Clark, hot sauce is spicy hot. We need temperature hot. I got it! Oh, it's the thing that always warms me up. A bedtime story and a warm blanket. All right, Fix it, Force. It's story time. <clears throat> James and the Giant Peanut. Once upon a time, there was an elephant, and James lived happily ever after in the Giant Peanut. The end. Uh, well, Clark, what a refreshing story. What's our thermometer say? Oh, still colder than a polar bear's toes. <laughs> oh, peanuts. We've got to engineer something to heat up this cocoa fast. Herb is getting crabbier by the minute. Oh, and snappier. Uh, maybe we need something with more heat. Something like... Watch this! Couch, activate Clark mode. Hey, is that a peanut cracker? Mm, this new couch is delicious! Couch, activate rainbow mode. A secret skateboard compartment? Wicked! Couch, activate Tiny and Chico modes, please. Hey, tiny treadmill for Tiny, and an earwax cleaner for me. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Now our plain old couch is a multifunctional miracle. multi whational? Multifunctional. Multi means many, and functions are what something does. Put them together, and you've got a multifunctional couch that can do a lot of things. Oh, boy! I'm learning things. And eating peanuts? Hey, I'm multifunctional, too. <gasps> the banana phone. <laughs> Chico Bonbon, bon, you got a problem? We can solve them. Chico! <gasps> it's Elkin John! 
I've got a problem. A big one. I have to see you right now. Um... Hello, gang! Elkin, that was quick. What's your big problem? My piano's got a flat E string. And it needs an oil change. That's right. It's multifunctional, gang. It's a piano and a car. Wow! Yeah. Listen, while I'm getting my piano tuned up, can you take care of Bernie? Bernie? Who's Bernie? Aw, he's so cute. But Elkin, watching a dog? That's not normally the type of problem we solve. Oh, but I also need you to figure out what's wrong with Bernie's leash. Whenever we go for walks, he always wiggles loose and I can't figure out why. A leash that needs a redesign? Now well, that's a fix it force challenge. What do you say, gang? Up for a little doggy sitting? Oh, 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 you're just the cutest little doggy ever. Look at that little nose. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a yes. Chico Bon Bon, I've got a problem. Can you help me solve it? Chico, you won't believe how my magical peanut sorting machine works. Oh, the Clark, I, uh... Well, it's not really magic, it's sorting. The big ones go in the bacon. Clark, the I really need to... The little holes and the medium ones. Clark, buddy! <laughs> I have an emergency and I need your help. What is it, Chico? I'm missing a sock! Uh, is that all? Is that all? These socks have never left these feet. Ever since I was a baby monkey with a tiny tool belt, I've had these tube socks on these tube legs. They've grown with me. And now one of them is gone. And it was my favorite. On second thought, this is definitely an emergency. More like a sock emergency. But it's okay. I think I know where your lost sock is. <gasps> where is it, Clark? Where? It's at Sock Mountain. Sock Mountain? Yeah. It says so right here in this old book, Mysterious Marvels of Blunderbird. Whenever someone loses a sock, it goes where all the lost socks go. Sock Mountain. Awesome. How do we get to Sock Mountain? We follow the map. Come on, I think we can walk to it. Looks like this sock emergency just turned into a sock quest. Sock quest, yay! Where do we go now, Clark? 300 steps north on South Avenue. Turn left. Right. Left again. And... Chico! Uh, Chico! What is it, Mrs. Coleslaw? I've got a sock emergency! You too? I'm missing my favorite sock! Oh, no! How did you lose your sock? Well, you know I love my knitting. So I decided to knit myself a pair of purple socks. Oh, but before I could even try them on, uh, one of them disappeared. Never fear, Mrs. Coleslaw. The Fix-It Force is on a quest to find... Sock, sock Mountain! Sock Mountain? It's where all the lost socks go. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Fix-It Force. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them.